When did you get back? How could you sneak into the country without informing your family? Well, you see what had happened was... Okay, so due to the extenuating circumstances and all the technical difficulties, I did have to make a somewhat unfortunate decision. What's the 411? What's the 411? What's the 411? And I had to cancel my original plan, or at least put a pause to it. My original plan was to come for three months, go through whatever I need to go through to find the right place. The first big obstacle I had was the thing with the hotel canceling, but you know, I got through all of that. But the other thing was, my visa had expired. I did get it at a renewal, but I only got a 60 day renewal. You can pay to extend it. You can go to jail, 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 jail. Me not being a gambling man, let me just hop back on a plane. The whole entanglements and the technical difficulties that I've had also did play a factor into why I did make the final decision to just say, I'm gonna go back to the snakes, rework some of my stuff. I have found a good agent that I can work with and I have found two regions, two, two areas. Apollonia City is one and the Volta region is, is the second one where they are very promising. So when I make my return, I'm gonna try to go right to those places. Uh, when I originally started this whole thing, I had said for myself, I had told friends and family and my connections and whatnot in God, I said, look, most people want to make this move and they want to live in Accra or very close to Accra. That was never really my intention. My original intention was to try to find something in the Cape Coast. I am a, a little soured on the Cape Coast and maybe I shouldn't be just because I shouldn't take out, take it out on the whole area because one hotel screwed me over. But because of that i started looking at other regions so I, i'm looking at apollonia city area and volta region i may revisit the idea of cape coast but again like i said i'm coming back 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 within a month or two to continue my search live and you learn trials tribulations the other major technical difficulty i had was an entire absence of internet capabilities and bank access all three banks froze on my froze my cards so that was a major problem and so i'm like and the other thing is that it all happened at the same time so i'm like okay no money no money no money no access to money no access to the internet to make a phone call to try to correct the problem only here with a 60-day visa when i started looking at flights the difference between toughing it out for another 10 days and just leaving is like twice the price. So just to save some money, yeah, I'm coming back. This will be like the last I'm in Ghana video. I will be releasing other videos about my time in Ghana. I have been on my channel prior to me coming to Ghana. Then you know about some of the other things that I, I use the channel for. So till then, take a look at some of the scenes I got for you. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, tell other people about it. We still living and learning, and it's all about budget life in Ghana. Peace. The Kotuka Airport personnel will sour you up real quick on any love you have for Ghana. I keep running into the most rude and disrespectful and money-hungry people when I'm at the airport. Finally, after all the exorbitant and unnecessary, if not downright illegal, pay this and pay that, dash me this, dash me that. A seat to rest my weary self. So I was tripping when I saw a gold colored plane and had to take a picture of it. Oh, and now I'm flying over Morocco, have left Ghana, flying over Morocco, and you can see how the buildings are constructed inside, within, on top of, amidst the desert area. Well, what do we have here? All I'm going to say is finding a Japanese restaurant in Morocco was not expected, but was so very well appreciated. These people right here know how to put together some food to make any time spent in an airport very well worth it. First thing I did was order some seafood soup. 
I was chowing down on these Japanese udon noodles with seafood mixed into it. They put their foot in this food. I was going, I was going to town with it. Hey, look at it this way. If you gotta sit in an airport for four to five hours, you might as well enjoy yourself. <laughs>